Hi guys, James from Crowdrunner here and just want to give you a little bit of an update on what's happening with the next release. So we are still busily working away and I wanted to sort of go through some of the highlights. So the first one is speed. This update is proving to be quite a lot faster in some cases, not in all cases, but in the cases where it is faster, my gosh, sometimes it is really quick. So we did a test recently where we had a standard animation that we use, which on one machine was rendering at about 54 minutes with version 0.6.3 and with the latest version 0.7.0 that is yet to come out, it was rendering at about 17 minutes. So, you know, it's less than half the time. This mode will consume a bit more RAM, um, about double. So it is pretty RAM hungry. If you've got enough spare RAM to fit all this into memory though, it is quite a bit quicker, um, especially for animations. It's also somewhat quicker for still images as well. So that's a really great result. The other big things that we've done to the add-on is we've changed how it actually installs. So you might have had to suffer through trying to uninstall it on Windows and getting an error in Blender when you try and remove it. That's uh, fixed now. So you'll notice that when you install it, you might get a little pop-up saying, oh, we need to install some more software. And this does a couple of really neat things, but you just have to pay attention to it. So you have to go into preferences um, and then into the CrowdRender add-on and then just go, okay, yes, I want to install this other software. Now this software is not new, it's always been in the add-on, but what we're doing now is actually making this separate sort of download specifically for your computer and operating system. This allows us to avoid the problem with Windows because of the way that we've engineered it, but it also allows us to support um, Blender going forward. And if they update the Python version, then all that's going to happen is this pops up and you just click OK and it downloads fresh software. So it means that the version of CrowdRunner that you have will work for a lot longer. It will work for future versions of Blender with different versions of Python. Um, up until now, that's not been the case. If Blender changed the Python version, then you, we had to issue a patch update. So that's a huge step forward for us. There's also some really cool stuff happening with automatic updates. It's not quite automatic yet, but we now have a button that allows you to update to whatever the latest version you have access to. So it saves you having to uninstall it and then reinstall it. So you just have to click one button now to update to the latest version. And this is kind of a test. And the hope is eventually we'll be able to have a checkbox that says automatically update which means that, uh, good news, um, if you have lots and lots of machines that you want Crowder to run on, you don't have to actually update all of them by hand, which is quite a laborious task. So that's not coming in 070, um, you just have the button for now, but the button is a lot better than having to click uninstall it, reinstall it, so that's awesome as well. So we've also fixed a bug by upgrading how we do transfers of images between the machines. So every machine renders a frame and that has to get sent back to the client machine where you're working. We've actually made that more robust. Um, there were certain cases where that system could just collapse because there was too much data flowing through it. So we fixed that in this version and you should be able to render anything without problems now. So that's just a quick update of what's coming in 070. It is a pretty huge upgrade. A lot of the upgrades you might not actually see, um, apart from the speed, um, some bugs that have been fixed and how it installs. But underneath, we've also made some major changes which are gonna help us actually move from the current system to adopting our new Cress application, which we've been talking a little bit about. And you can follow the links in the description below if you wanna learn more about it. Cress is basically Think Airbnb for sharing computers. So you can actually share computers with your friends online. So we're moving from a model where you can only use your own uh, plus the cloud, because we do have integration with uh, Blender Grid that allows you to do that. We're actually gonna now allow you through the Crest system to be able to access machines remotely from where you are. So if you're at home, you can use computers in your office and vice versa. Or if you have a friend, you'll be able to team up and share your resources with each other directly. And 070 has some of the early work in it because we're obviously keen to start moving over to that platform, although it won't have uh, the ability to share computers just yet. So that's a few of the things which are coming. Um, if we've left anything out, if you think we should be working on a feature that you want or you need, or if there's a problem that you're encountering that you can't get past, please do put it in the comments below. Um, the more people tell us that a particular thing needs fixing, the easier it is for us to justify putting time into it. So we need to prioritize and we like to hear from you guys to do that um, rather than us just making stuff up. So thanks guys. Hope to see you in the next video. See ya.